What's going on, Jerome's? So the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, have a decision to make with superstar edge rusher Daniil, the real deal hunter. Uh, if the season goes pear-shaped uh, as uh, the trade deadline approaches, will they move uh, the uh, the superstar edge rusher, uh, or will they try to resign him this offseason? Preferably, I would prefer to try to resign Daniil Hunter. He's going to be 29. He's still firmly in his prime, and he's... Uh, again, every single draft pick that you get in return, you're, you're going to draft a guy that you hope uh, is 10 cents on the dollar uh, that Daniil Hunter is. And he's been woefully underpaid. Frankly, I think the Vikings should have gave him a, a new long-term deal uh, years ago, but it's been patchwork ever since. And uh, Quasey and Daniil, they, they did patch things up for a one-year deal. No, tra uh, no tag clause. So if he leaves this offseason... It would be for zero compensation uh, until they get a comp pick in 2025. But uh, the whole thing with Daniil, I know that some fans have a sour taste in their mouth because of him, because of the herniated disc uh, in his neck, which he obviously didn't, didn't ask for. And also the way that it seems like every single year they've had a kerfuffle because, uh, frankly, the five-year $72 million extension that he signed a handful of years ago was bad. It was, it was just a bad deal for him. It was a bad deal uh, by the agents. It's a bad deal all the way around. And now enter the Detroit Lions. So – I like me some Dan Campbell. Again, I wish he was in a different conference, but it is what it is. Uh, but but hopefully we'll be able to get to use these memes again. It's fantastic, man. I mean, the Lions are getting all the hype, but also they're starting to hit some of their stretch of their schedule where they'd be humbled, which would be fantastic. But um, – it's a non sequitur. Anyways, ESPN's Bill Barnwell, the grand poobah of football over there, uh, he did up an article saying uh, uh, NFL trade deadline offers for 2023, 15 proposals for players. Vikings were involved with two of them. Notably, the big one is Daniil, the real deal hunter, going to Detroit. This ain't Detroit, man. This is a Super Bowl uh, for some value. So, okay, my line of demarcation, if you can get a first-round pick for Daniil at the trade deadline and you've, you have zero desire to extend him long-term, if you're Quasi and ownership, go ahead. Uh, and go ahead and then package up that first rounder, try and find yourself the quarterback of the future, and then go from there. But uh, in this hypothetical trade, uh, the Lions get uh, Daniil Hunter and a 2024 fifth rounder. The Vikings get a 2024 second rounder, a 2025 third rounder, uh, as well as James Houston, uh, the second year edge rusher uh, from uh, Jackson State. We'll, we'll get to in a sec. Now, Kwesi has done business in division before. Uh, he's made a draft day trade with the Lions that resulted with them ending up with Jameson Williams. Also made a deal with the Packers resulting in the Christian Watson, uh, him landing in Green Bay. Uh, but this is what he wrote about Daniil going to Detroit. The Lions should go for it, right? At 4-1, and one, blah, 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 Hutchinson, da, 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 uh, Houston, da, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. So uh, Houston, Houston's, uh, you know, broke his right ankle, so this is a play for the future. Uh, and the, they're looking for some veteran juice opposite of Aiden Hutchinson. Now, here's the thing. I, I think Quasey would be hesitant to do this because it's one thing to do business in division in the draft where you're taking lotto tickets. You, you have raffle tickets. I mean, is Jamison Williams going to be good? Who knows? Is Christian Watson going to be good? Uh, who knows? But you know that Daniil Hunter is good. You know that Daniil Hunter is really, really good, and he knows your team, and, and you get to play him twice a year, and he's still firmly in his prime. And Daniil Hunter with Aiden Hutchinson, woo! That, that makes a disgusting edge rushing tandem uh, for the the short and long term. Uh, and and Houston, uh, I like James Houston a, a lot. Where uh, last year as a rookie, six round pick coming in at Jackson State, originally was at Florida State, but Deion Sanders worked his magic. Uh, he had eight sacks as a rookie, and he was just very productive every time he got on the field. But you know, like Barnwell said, broke his ankle uh, after two games, and is probably going to be shelved uh, until uh, next season. So it's a future play, and basically you're trading Daniel for a second and a future third which trade comp wise i mean given the lions are supposedly going to be good they're going to be late second and third rounders uh, i would prefer to even take a little bit less in trade just to make sure that he's not in division because uh, i think that would be that would be the nut low because not not only are Vikings fans mad at Quasi because of the Lewisine pick instead of Kyle Hamilton, uh, also trading in division, giving the Lions Jameson Williams, even though Quasi uh, uh, gambled there, and I don't know if it's going to work out for them. Uh, but it would be another thing just give giving a homegrown superstar into Neil Hunter to a division rival who is ascending and then having to play him twice a year. I, I just don't see him doing that. So even if they take less. And like, say, a deal with Jacksonville or wherever, I think that they would do that. 
who knows, man. But I, I do like James Houston a lot. Like, honestly, if the Vikings can find a way to trade for Houston while he's injured, ah, go ahead. Go ahead there. But also, um, Barnwell pointed out a, a second deal, which included uh, veteran linebacker Jordan Hicks going to Buffalo for a 2024 fifth-round pick. Now, this is something that we had suggested as well, uh, and it makes a lot of sense because Buffalo just lost Matt Milano over in London. He's their stud linebacker in the middle. And Hicks, I mean, I, I love me some Jordan Hicks. Like, last year oh, – la- I love Jordan Hicks except for when he's in coverage. Mm, hook him, baby. That's right. Uh, but last year, second on the team in tackles with 129. Uh, this year, second on the team in tackles again with 43. Also has a forced fumble. And Hicks has played well. Where the defense has been sort of spotty in times, Jordan Hicks has really uh, sort of reinvented himself at 31 years of age and is playing extremely well. But uh, he's in the last year of his two-year contract. Is going to be a free agent. Probably isn't going to be back if the Vikings are having a youth movement on that side of the ball. So if the Vikings can get some decent value for Hicks at this stage uh, to Buffalo out of conference in in a team that has need, I mean, sure, uh, that would make some sense. So I... I would do the Hicks deal, and also it allow uh, the Vikings to give Asamoa a lot more run uh, next to Pace, who I think is going to be the off-ball linebacker duo of the future. But I, I ain't crazy about the uh, Daniil deal. I, I ain't doing that, man. Even though, yes, uh, you could give some more run to guys like Andre Carter the second, but again trading Daniel in division and then having to face him twice a year and then having to hear the announcers every every single time you know Daniel Hunter was a third round pick by the Vikings and blah 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 blah. and then like him and Hutchinson that'd be a problem that'd be a problem like if the Vikings did this deal I would demand demand the Lions first round pick uh, but we know that Quasi's sort of been soft in negotiations with the Lions before Ben uh, but your thoughts are thoughts uh, ESPN suggests a trade of Daniel Hunter to the freaking Lions, man. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.